Hello, what culture? Simon Miller here with the one and only Tyler Bate. Tyler, how are you doing today, my friend? Fantastic. Fantastic. That's a high bar to throw out there. Yeah, I, I like to live my life at the highest bar possible. Is that not exhausting after a while, though? Um, I guess, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but, so, yeah. I feel like I broke your spirit that quickly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, maybe one day it'll all catch up with me and I'll just sleep forever and die. Well, I'll, let's start with sleep. Let's start with sleep. Yeah. Probably something you sacrifice quite a lot of given that your lifestyle is pretty crazy and that you're now doing events like this? Um, <clears throat> you'd think that, but I'll, I'll always make time for some, some sleep. Right, does that tie in, right? I, I don't, someone may have asked this, but I don't know. Does that tie into all your fitness stuff? This is the main reason I want to chat to you today. I just want to chat about lifting weights and fitness stuff because obviously massively important when it comes to resting anyway, but obviously you were into that stuff you know, way back when. Yeah. So how hard is it now to balance it all out? Because you know, you get some dudes who dedicate themselves to that and it's a 24-7 thing. Um, <clears throat> I guess, so I, I, I don't, I'm not as strong as I used to be. I don't, I don't lift as heavy as I used to um, because uh, wrestling has such a high demand in like efficiency, cool. I guess, uh, and being able to like use your body to its maximum potential. I don't, I don't, tend to lift as heavy I tend to uh, work a lot more on just movement now and just being able to move as like I said efficiently as possible yeah. and did you do that when you first started resting or did somebody have to talk you around to that because I know if someone said to me Mel I stopped doing heavy deadlifts I'd be like get out of my house yeah. like this this is all I got in my life like oh did you, did you have to be one round or was it a gradual process I guess um, I guess when I first got into wrestling I, w I was no, I, I wasn't very big. I was quite a, a skinny kid. Um, but I knew that in order to be successful in wrestling, I had to get bigger. Course, I had to yeah. like, at least look like I was in shape. So that was when I, I did turn to, you know, lifting as heavy as possible, eating as much as possible. And I actually grew to love that <clears throat> through wrestling. And for the longest time, you know, it, it was all about like really heavy deadlifts for me and like building mass but <laughs> but you know I, f I feel like uh, it, it's that's just not me so much anymore I, I'm, I'd, I'd much more prefer you know just an hour of yoga <laughs> dude it's really important right like you've got to stay supple you've got to stay lean now there was the big question that I didn't know you've ever answered before one have you ever worked out with Triple H? And two, has he ever given you fitness advice? Because I'm not going to lie, I've said this before, he's the reason I started lifting weights. And I was a kid, I was like, well, that guy looks cool. <laughs> I'd like to look like him. Uh, sadly, no to both of those <laughs> questions. Yeah, but yeah. I'm sure maybe, he's giving. Maybe, maybe next time I'll see yeah, him. Next, we'll next time you see him, say it's really annoying dude, bull dude. He just really wanted to know. And, uh, and he'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Let's focus back on resting. Obviously, you're in kind of a, a crazy position right now because you have you know, kind of shifted between NXT UK and NXT. What is the difference? Because we talked to Trent earlier as well, and obviously he was like, all of you guys feel quite protective over the NXT UK thing, because you were the guys at the full, you know, the start of it, and you've been building this brand. Yeah. Then you get to do the NXT stuff, and then you're back. I mean, what are the differences between the two brands, and do you kind of still see yourself as a, a dual member of the roster, or right now you're like, no, I'm NXT UK, and I want to try and grow this as much as I can? Um, <clears throat> so my answer might be a, a little bit different to Trent's. Um, I, I don't really feel like there's any specific brand that I necessarily like belong to or <clears throat> that like you know I, I, I love wrestling regardless of the the umbrella yeah. that it's under whether it is in NXT UK or NXT or Raw or Smackdown um or, or even independently, I, I, I just love wrestling and keeping things fresh and uh, just so long as I'm involved in something that the fans like watching and I'm happy. That's kind of the whole point, right? You've got to reach out to the fans, different audiences. You mentioned kind of the, the, the independent scene, and obviously you guys are still still kind of have one, yeah. one thing. How much do you get to watch these days? Are you scouting a few guys? Are there a few people on your radar? Uh, so, for, my, for myself personally, there's two independents that uh, I would, um, they're almost like home independents to me that I'll always uh, like to show my face to, and that's Attack Pro Wrestling and Fight Club Pro, uh, Fight Club Pro based in Wolves, 
attack mostly in Cardiff, but Bristol and London too. Um, and those are the two promotions outside of the WWE, the independent promotions that matter to me the most. And I, I, lo I love I love watching the shows as well and seeing who could be the next guys to like, you know, not necessarily like fill our boots, but almost join us. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Yeah. So basically, like, because a lot of because you're so well established to an audience who watch NXT UK or NXT or whatever, they now see you as a regular guy. You're just you're a professional wrestler, Tyler Bate. But in terms of the real person, Tyler Bate, you're a very young dude who, admittedly, is way far ahead of where a lot of other people would be at your age. But that also means you have still got so much room to grow and evolve and do other things because you have time on your side. And I think some, it's like a football player, right? Someone like you know Raheem Sterling comes on the scene. It's like he's crap <laughs> because. I now expect more of him, basically. I mean, that's basically the question is, do you think people expect more of you because they are now aware of you, even though really you should be given more time like anybody else would be? Because your age, most people probably start training and here you are as one of the sort of, you know, main dudes in the UK scene. Um, <laughs> Brilliant. I, I, I don't, I really don't mind the pressure of like being so young and having, and having that kind of like level of, uh, performance to live up to I feel like I deal with it very well and I, I always like to like keep keep reinventing myself and keeping things fresh like I said earlier and um, yeah I, I just I really don't mind I just I like to go with the flow I don't I don't put too much pressure on my shoulders I, I don't take anything too personally I you know I, I just I just love wrestling I like to go with the flow and just see where it takes me. But that's great though, right? Because, and especially in 2019, you have YouTube comment threads, you've got Twitter, you've got social media. The fact you're able to go, meh, whatever, that's got to be a huge plus. Yeah, I mean, of course, the opinions of fans matter to me a lot and I, I really care, but it, it's, I have to like separate um, myself personally from myself as a performer as well. So if, if fans, are then critiquing me as a performer. They're not critiquing me as a person. They, they don't. Maybe they don't know me very much as a person, and that's fine. Like I'm open to. Uh, what's the word? I'm open to like critique, yeah. and yeah, I welcome it. I don't. I don't take anything. Tyler Bate, the most mature man I've ever spoken to. <laughs> most people go, hate those guys, hate those asshole fans. That's yeah. what they say. They're entitled to their opinion. They can say whatever yeah. they want. They are, and it's they fine. Do. And yeah. they do. And they do. And they, 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 say, yeah. they say mean things sometimes, <laughs> but it's up do. to us to not let things get to our heads. Tyler, use this advice. It's good advice. Right, now, of course, we talked about that you've got a massive career ahead of you. Where do you, where, where do you want to go? Where do you want to head? Obviously, you've got multiple options, NXT, Raw, SmackDown. Everybody wants the main event, WrestleMania. Where do you see yourself, say, 10 years down the line? I feel like there's a few obvious things that I'd like to achieve in my career. You know, I'd, I'd like to one day be in the Royal Rumble. I'd like to one day have a spot on WrestleMania, maybe win a world title. Um, th th those are things that would come almost as like a bonus to just being able to enjoy what I do. Yeah. And you are, man. Tyler Bate, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, What Culture. Like the video, share the video, subscribe. Listen to this man's advice. Very smart dude. Cheers. Do a video, child, instead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right, cool. Lists, lists, everyone. Lists, yeah. lists. Yeah. 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 Yeah.